How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, I wanted to share with you why we removed the Schwintec system off of our slide, completely removed, not repaired, but removed, and we went with the Vroom system on the slide and how it's working for us. So to start off, we had two Schwintec slide systems on our RV. We only have two slides on here. We had the Schwintec on this larger slide here, and then we have one for the smaller bedroom slide. And both of these have had full-time use with lots of moving. And the, the bedroom slide one is fine. It's not a really large slide, so that one's been working well. But this larger slide that has our couch and our fridge in it, we've been having some problems with it. We've been having issues with metal shavings, it not coming in when we need to. When you're trying to hit the road and it doesn't come in, that's, that's a big problem. And I've been doing everything that I possibly can to keep this slide functioning as good as it can. And as I dug into that slide a little bit more, I realized I didn't want to fight it on this slide all the time. So just repairing it and replacing parts really wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to replace it with something completely different. So we found Vroom slide systems in Tucson. And they've come up with a system that was everything that we were looking for that fits inside of the same footprint that the Schwintech system did. So when you step back and you kind of look at the system, they, they would look similar from a distance, but when you look into it and look at the different components, there's gonna be some very large differences in there. But the big reason we wanted to switch was because of quality and longevity. We wanted something that was gonna be stronger, more reliable, with a smooth operation, less maintenance, and something that we can actually pull in if we were to have a problem in a, a mechanical way. And this has two ways to be able to pull in this slide if we were to have a problem. With Schwintech, you're pretty much stuck just trying to remove that motor and try and manhandle and push that slide in. That's just one of the differences we like about the new one. Now I could take the slide in and out a bunch of times and show you how smooth it is and we are happy with it. I mean our old slide even on a good day sounded horrible. And that was a good day because the slide was actually moving. It wasn't stuck in the position, which happened to us a few times. But I wanted to give this system a, a good breakdown of the things that we thought were important. So it's a little cold and windy. So let's talk about the details with this slide system inside. So let's take a look at these components and see what makes these two slide mechanisms different. Let's start at the top with the motor. So the motor is gonna be about the same. There's usually a 300 to one or 500 to one motor at the top. That's not a bad element on the Schwintec system, but the way that that mounts to their entire system changes drastically how it functions. On the Schwintec, we just have four pins basically that sit on top of the bracket and nest in place. And it just has one screw that's holding it to that U channel that's holding it in place. And you can see that there's quite a bit of slop inside of that motor. And if that motor moves up a little bit, it's going to spin and shear those wires right off. And then your motor's not going to be working anymore. But compared to what we have on the Vroom system, it's a four bolt flange that locks it into the mechanism. They designed it that way for three reasons. Number one, it's not gonna have any more lost alignment. You're not gonna have the broken wires or a loose motor in there anymore. It's bolted on with Loctite, that thing's not coming off. You can even see on the Schwintec system that the motor wiggles at the bottom because it's relying on the two screws in there. Compared to the way that Vroom bolts it on, it puts the torque on the flange itself. So that's just starting with the way that the motor mounts to the overall system. And all these things add up to making it more reliable because there's gonna be less movement in that motor and putting the torque where it needs to in the system. Now, if we were to compare the gears, you can see that the Schwintec gear is much, much smaller than the Vroom gear. The Vroom gear is much larger with a deeper track, giving you a, a lot better mesh in those gears and a very strong system. Now this is gonna come into play on how those gears go together, but the depth of those is, is really a robust system. There's also a difference in the U-channel that goes vertically from top to bottom. The Vroom system actually allows this mechanism to float in there, so it takes away any of the inconsistencies that you might have built into the RV. Let's be honest, these RVs aren't perfect. They're not always level and plumb and all the things that we would hope them to be. So that actually helps out a lot because these RVs aren't built perfect. That, that's why we're swapping out the slide mechanism. Now, before we get into the one key thing that caught my eye and why I wanted to go with the slide system is if you look at the way that it's designed, it was designed by an RV owner that had a Tiffin Class A. So you take an engineer with a machine shop that doesn't want to mess with the Schwintech system anymore and wants something that's reliable, 
doesn't have to have a ton of maintenance and he's not gonna have to worry about it anymore. That's what all of us would like. So once he built it for his, because they do a majority of other things at their Tucson facility, this is more of a, a side project that they were doing that they are now sharing with other people that are having issues with their Schwintec system and wanna swap it out. One of the amazing things is your RV's not sitting there for months as they try and wait for parts and diagnose it. They're building the parts there and it's a one day install. That is pretty amazing. I'd say it's pretty crazy. Pulled in mid morning. It's not even late afternoon and it's already done. We're getting ready to hook up and pull out. One day. Now it really is the combination of all these things put together in a design and executed well that make it work work really well. But I think one of the biggest things that make the system more reliable is the way that the gears mesh together. It's really the whole pinion gear housing mounted to the side of the slide out. It makes for the perfect gear alignment that counteracts the twisting and allows movement. It has the two cam followers that keep it in gear mesh, meaning that the gears are fitting together well in the way they should be coming together all the time. That's what eliminates the metal shavings and the wearing down and the wearing out of the slide parts. This element that we've been talking about is something that I don't think can be overstated because it has so much impact on the system for how it operates. It allows it to work so smoothly with those bearings in there and the way that it locks it in there with the gears going into here and sinking perfectly and not getting misaligned is what allows it to work consistently and that we really don't have to do any maintenance on here. We have to keep it clean and that's about it. Those bearings are packed. We don't really have to oil anything in there. So it's a really Really solid system in that regard. But because of all that, the way that they designed this and have it locked in there so tight on the top and the bottom, uh, we have now a way to be able to bring this slide in mechanically. We have a nut down here at the bottom that we can loosen and we can disengage that motor at the top. And because the slide system is so smooth, I was amazed at how easy it was to push the slide in once the system is installed. It was pretty effortless and that's all because of the way that it locks it in there. But we also have another nut that's underneath there. So if we do need a little bit more mechanical help, we can put a wrench on there and we can start bringing the slide in. We'd have to do it on both sides, but we now have a mechanical way with a wrench to be able to bring the slide in when we need to. We did not have that on the other slide mechanism, so I am very thankful that we have multiple ways in order to get this in if we come to that situation. Now, another thing that we noticed with our slide is when our slide would be out with the Schwintec and we looked over there in that corner, we could see that that, that slide was tilted in a little bit on the bottom. Now that has to do with the way things are timed, but ours didn't lose time, meaning that uh, top to bottom is how you adjust the timing of the RV. And if you need to resync it, the syncing is left to right. So you can resync that pretty easy, but retiming it, it's not something you can just do by pressing a button in there and having it retime. But on the Schwintec, it's like that torque shaft that goes all the way through vertically was starting to twist. So our bottom wouldn't be as tight on the slide as our top of the slide would be. But on the Vroom system, they have teeth on the top and bottom for it being keyweighed with a 5 8 rod, which keeps it perfectly timed. And that rod in there is really stout. You're not gonna have any twisting in there. And that's why the bottom fits a little bit more snug with the new system. I was impressed at every level from the rivets they were using to the laser engraving they're doing on the system. I was really impressed that I, they allowed me to go through and film as we were having our slide done. And I was just impressed at every aspect of it. And the installers did a fantastic job. This is the first time I've ever let somebody else work on our RV and the, the guys did great. Even with having a camera following them around all day, they were great, they were good at what they did. And I was very appreciative to, the, to everybody there. So that brings brings us to the last thing of scheduling and price. So when we did ours, it was around $2,800 for us to have our slide switched out to the Vroom system. So I'll put a link down in the description to their phone number and their emails so you could call and, and get a price for years or be able to schedule yours because we had to wait a little bit to get the slide put in. Even though they do the install in a day, which is fantastic, it still takes a while to get to all the RVs that are wanting to swap out uh, the loose sloppy system that is in there to something that's a little bit more reliable and tight. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated on the way that the slide system is working. Uh, so far, it has been fantastic. Going from the loud screeching and may not come in to this system, 
this is very welcome. We're gonna keep the Schwintec on the bedroom slide because it's really not that big of a slide and that's a better size fit for the Schwintec system. But I'm glad that we had the Schwintec on here because this is my favorite mechanism for a slide out that I have ever seen. I have been impressed at every level from the install to the design to the, the implementation of it. It's just a fantastic system in my book. But like I said, we're gonna give this a whole lot of full-time use and I'll keep you updated on how it's operating. Now I should give you as a side note, they did use the existing wires that were in here, the existing controllers, so all of our buttons and everything, all that works the same. Except for with this system, you know how the Schwintec, you're not supposed to bring it in halfway and stop. This one, you can bring it in halfway, it doesn't matter, you can put it back out because of all those benefits that go into this system. So I think that's gonna do it for today. That's all the reasons why we chose a slide system and why we wanted to swap out the Schwintec that was in there. Go with something a little bit more reliable and robust for full-time use. So I hope this helps you guys out if you're looking for a slide replacement for your Schwintec. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will. See you next video.